my name is Gary Sernvert. I'm the founder and CEO of Daisy Intelligence, and uh, we deliver intelligent decision making for retailers, helping them decide what are the optimal set of products to promote, the optimal set of prices to charge, and how much inventory to allocate. Uh, we help them with decisions that are beyond human ability using artificial intelligence software to grow bottom line, uh, top line sales and net income. I think there's a lot of hype around AI and misinformation. For the most part, I believe AI is used synonymously with statistical analysis. Statistics has been around for 200 years. If it was the panacea, it would have delivered its value. For us, artificial intelligence has a number of defining features. We believe the aerospace industry is a good example of autonomous intelligence. Fighter aircraft aren't flown by pilots. The pilot tells the system what to do and the computer executes those instructions. So it's an example of aut autonomous machine intelligence with human oversight. So an AI system needs to be autonomous with no human in the loop. It needs to do things beyond human ability like fly a fighter jet that's very unstable. It needs to be able to do things that you've never done before to find new opportunities to execute. So it's not based on historical data alone. And it, it's human led, the human is the boss and uh, the human invents the mathematical laws that drive that detail. And so statistics has none of these defining features, but the aerospace industry does what's called reinforcement learning or optimal control. And in my mind, that's what AI is. And in the 1950s, that's what was defined and considered AI. I think the, I think the top use cases uh, for artificial intelligence retail would be looking at those things that are beyond human ability. And so what are humans not able to do effectively? Things that are highly computational, that require complex decision-making, lots of math, and things that are highly repetitive occur millions of times. So some use cases would be, what's the combination of products to promote every week? Relentless, you have 100,000 products, hundreds of stores, millions of customers. So deciding the products to promote, deciding the prices to charge, doing inventory allocation, allocating labor. These are very complex decisions and happen every day over and over and over again. That's what machines are really good at. People are good at strategy, new product innovation, finding ways to service your customers better. Those are all human activities. So I think we can divide the world in two. Let people do what people are good at by letting machines do what machines are good at. And so we see those complex use cases where computers can help people that's what we see as AI, augmenting human ability. Yeah, I think now is the time for this artificial intelligence. It's really driven by Moore's law and computing. So 20 years ago, when I founded Daisy in 2003, a million dollars of equipment today would have cost over a billion dollars in 2003. So Moore's law, which has doubled computing power every 18 months, and then advent of GPU computing and FPGA computing has really made the amount of computing we could do astronomical compared to what was possible 20 years ago. And it's that explosion of computing capability that has really driven this hype wave of AI because now we can do things that were unthinkable 20 years ago. And now even the mid-market small companies can do only what was in the realm of the largest retailers or the banks in the world. I think some of the key uh, ways that customers can identify what companies are in true AI is, is, first of all, look at the founders and senior executives of the company. What is their background and education? Do they come from deep technical fields, mathematical fields? So that's good. Is the DNA of the company very technical? Then I would say, what is the value proposition they're selling? Are they going to guarantee that for every dollar you pay them, that you'll get $10 of net margin return? Is there going to be a verifiable guarantee? guaranteed return. So if you if it's truly AI and, and, and live up to this hype and panacea, then it should deliver that verifiable income. And then is it a product? Do you need 50 consultants to show up to use this technology? Do you need to hire data scientists? Because if it's truly AI, you don't need 50 people. You don't need data scientists. It should be a product that's up and running very quickly. For us, those are the three defining features. Verifiable outcomes, look at the DNA of the founders of the company, and it should be no people in the loop. Otherwise, you're just getting good old consulting with statistical tools.
I think look at uh, you know use cases in AI that that deliver value, and so look at something that can help you today. You know, I think some of the technologies don't have proven value propositions yet, like facial recognition or Wi-Fi tracking. Really interesting technologies that may have a proven use case in the future. But to get started today, I think you need to deliver solutions that have economic value. So look for vendors who will grow your sales, grow net income, and stand behind that proposition. Other innovative technologies like the robotics and those kind of things, try them out, pilot them in a small way. Don't invest heavily until you see real big companies leading and showing economic value. Look at vendors with customer lists and references that can prove that their technology works and can deliver results today. AI done right for Daisy is very important. We believe using the right technology, all the things I've talked about, autonomous, no human in the loop, based on found, uh, you know, tried and true scientific principles, delivering economic value, then it's not about replacing humans. We don't stand behind replacing humanity. AI should augment humans' capabilities and it should deliver value today, verifiable value today, and it should be there to help people do better. That's what we consider AI done right. Choosing the right technology, there to help people and help us grow our businesses and deliver results today. For us, that's AI done right. Well, I think it's falling into the hype and value propos, you know, the, the hype and marketing uh, descriptions that are out today. You know, statistics being rebranded as AI will not deliver the value. Most companies are already doing statistics today. So if you don't do your homework and, 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 uh, and check out the DNA of the company, hiring a statistical company will not deliver value. I think the goal to replace people, that's, that's not a good idea. I think, you know, looking for use cases that don't replace humans, for example, customer service. I think the best human customer service person on earth will always be better than the best computer customer service. And I think that's the AI done wrong. We don't want to replace humanity. We need to be employed, be successful. Companies need customers. So those are things AI done wrong. Using statistics when you already have that, replacing people, that's a bad idea. That's not good for humanity. Those are some examples of AI done wrong. And reinforcement learning is, is really the way humans learn another model. It's another analogy. But when you were a young child and used to put a square block in a round hole and you played with those blocks and shapes, you randomly tried multiple times, which is the right hole and you eventually get it. And then you would, the second time you tried, you still didn't know how to do it. So through random trial and error, you eventually learn by reinforcing your experiences. So that's the idea of reinforcement learning. Random trial and error, trying to do something you've never done before, interacting with the real world, and eventually as you learn, recalling those learnings and using them over and over again. So that's the analogy of reinforcement learning, and that's like optimal control in engineering. So it's a model of how all biological creatures learn on Earth. Interact with your environment, do something new, and sometimes use what you learn, and then do random trial and error to learn. Because you can only learn new things by doing what you've never done before, and statistics can't do that. So that's a key defining feature of AI and reinforcement learning, doing what you've never done before to see what happens. And with a theory of retail, we can even have a we can even know what's going to happen if you've never done what, uh, something before. That's what the laws of physics tell us. We can know what happens when black holes collide, even though we've never seen it. The math tells us that. In the same way, optimal control can do the same thing. So that's the real power of AI: doing what you've never done before and having an idea of what's going to happen, and keep on learning. It's not just based on past experience alone. Sure, in summary, I, I, you know, I think Daisy is here to help retailers succeed. We don't want to replace humanity. We believe that we can double and triple the net income of every retail business out there today. But what does that mean for consumers? This is a win for humanity. If we can increase net income, smart companies will not bank that money. They will reinvest it back in price and innovation. That means as consumers, you and I should see lower cost of services. If we do this ubiquitously in every industry, we'll lower the cost of living for humanity. That's what we see as AI done right. At Daisy, we see what others can't and we can deliver value today. AI is not a future dream, it's here today. We're practical, we're real, and we can help you double your net income in the next 12 months.